Hi everyone, I'm Max Bowder from EnergeticCity.ca. This is the Community Roundup brought to you by Brad's Furniture and Appliances. I'm here once again with Flo. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Thank you for coming, Max. Good. Th thank you so, so much for having me. So, again, it's a new month here, here in March. We have a new exhibit that opened on Friday, I, mm -hmm. I believe, right? The All Creatures Gr Great and Small, that's what it's called? Yes, presented by Flying Colors Artists Association. Of course, and I have to admit, I love animals, and uh, the artwork that we're seeing all around here look, looks amazing. So please, uh, what, what can you tell us about the artwork? So we have over 20 artists with different mediums, different sizes, different colors, and we have already sold 10 pieces. So we're actually waiting to sell more in the next few days. Uh, the exhibit it is available until March 30th, that's a Saturday, so everyone's invited to come, this is free, everyone can just take pictures or get a gift, and everything is animals in all sizes and colors. Um, of course. I, I decided to set, set up uh, here just because I like this painting especially. It's by Carl M Mosgrove, you, mm -hmm. you say? Yes. Okay, what, what can you tell us about this painting? So I talked to Carl's wife on Friday and they came to the opening and actually he is a long time friend of the gallery. He's been collaborating with us for over like 20 years and this one was done a long time ago but never shown. This one is on oil and canvas and the name is Borderline Dispute and you can see the bears fighting. Um, with the bull and, and, mm -hmm. and are those other bulls or are those cows? I think those are cows, but every time he <laughs> pictures something, it is funny and entertaining. But what I like about it is the color theme, the color scheme that we have placed in the gallery, and the story that we have built during the world. So everyone is invited. Uh, you can see animals from like cats, dogs, birds, and local animals as well. Everyone got inspired in all sizes. We have whales, we have insects. And there's also new medias that we're presenting, like the resin, right yes. there, the mosaics. We have oil, we have acrylic. Uh, right be behind you, Max, there's mixed media with I acrylic see. as well. So you can come and see different textures. Um, just enjoy yourself with local animals that we have here. Of course, if you're a big animal lover, I'm sure, sure you'll have an absolutely amazing time. Are, are you expecting business to be really big, big this time around for this gallery? Yeah, people seem very big on animals this year. And on the opening night, we sold over 10 pieces, which is awesome. That's very good. It's actually better than most openings because usually during opening night, you see what you want, what you like, and then you come back and buy it. You see the sizes, where are you gonna put it, what wall, what gift. So come on in and we have all sizes, not only in animals, but in canvases, so yeah. Okay, and, and the exhibit is going till the 30th of this month, correct? Mm -hmm. That's a Saturday and we're open from 11 to 5, uh, from Tuesday to Saturday. Okay, a anything else you'd like, like to say before we sign off? Yeah, the art auction is coming next Saturday the 16th. It starts at 5.30, we're selling tickets online and in the box office and if you like this exhibit all the artists that we have in the walls will be featured in the art auction silent and live so everyone's invited okay um, amazing it was great great seeing you again what once again i'm max bowder from energetic city this is the community roundup brought to you by brad's furniture and appliances have a good day